you get thrown out there, Armando goes down early. Can you sort of walk us through what was going through your head when you first got out there the first few minutes? Uh, just be ready. That was the biggest thing. You never know when you can get in the game. Uh, so I feel like that moment was just like uh, one, of those, one of those examples of just be ready for whenever you need to be thrown out there. What was going well for you right then? Uh, I just feel like uh, rolling off the rolling off those screens, and uh, my teammates were finding me well, and just you know being able to finish those plays. What was the difference in the second half? I know they put Vanderplas out there. Was he kind of doing something different than Shedrick was doing in the first half? I feel like he, you know, yeah, he was uh, ghosting a lot of screens. Uh, you know, just just being in that second half, uh, you know, just having having to play a lot more. Uh, a lot more moving around than in the first half. If I'm correct, I think I saw you give the tired thing at one point in the second half. You only played 20 minutes coming in. 27 minutes today, where was your stamina late in this game? Oh, yeah, that definitely. Uh, I was at a 10 today. Uh, you know, I haven't played like probably like three, four minutes every other game. Uh, two seniors in front of you, uh, neither of them in the game today. So uh, a lot of big minutes, definitely a lot of energy expended today. Look, yeah, what kind of encouragement were you getting from? Some of the older guys, when you when you came in and you got hot and, and got going in the first half, it looked like they were, you know, sort of urging you on. Uh, it was a lot of encouragement. Uh, we we're pretty close behind the team. Uh, they were, you know, just telling me to keep going, telling me I was doing good stuff out there. Just you know, just keep getting better, keep going. Second half. It looked like Pete specifically pulled you aside at halftime. Was there anything in particular that he told you? Uh, you know, just little vet tips from you know here and there. You know, we play similar positions. So, uh, you know, just him giving me a uh, piece of advice, you know, things that he sees out there that I could, you know, uh, benefit from. I mean, surely no moral victories, but how do you feel in terms of this being kind of a, a statement game, if you will, for your progress coming back from injury and rehab and everything? Uh, I, f I feel like it's definitely a testimony to, you know, a lot of my hard work, uh, you know, having to re re come back from to uh, tough injuries, but um, you know it's definitely a blessing to be out there, you know, regardless of you know, victory, uh, obviously which we wanted or, or defeat. So uh, you know, just gonna check this up uh, as a loss, obviously. And, you know, just gonna keep, try to keep growing and, and getting better from this. When did you realize Armando was not gonna be coming back in? It was gonna be sort of your show the rest of the way. Uh, probably second half. Uh, you know, because they told me I was gonna start. What does this do for your? Thanks, Jalen. Appreciate. For your comfort and knowing moving forward that, okay, you can play extended minutes at this level and you can be productive. It just gives me the confidence, you know, that I can play on this level with these players. Uh, you know, I just need to, you know, keep racking up uh, experience, keep getting a lot more reps, a lot more reps. You know, I haven't played for about a year and a half now. Uh, so, you know, it's just a lot of experience and just keep going and learning. Jalen, with the. Thank you.